Receivables can be one of the most liquid current assets a company holds. A receivable simply indicates a right to receive cash in the future. The size and nature of receivables on a company's balance sheet depends largely on the industry in which it operates and the company's credit policies. Receivables are frequently classified into three categories, accounts receivable, notes receivable, and other receivables. Accounts receivable are balances customers owe as a result of the sale of goods or services on account. They are usually short-term, unsecured, non-interest bearing, and typically represent the most significant receivables held by a company. Because they arise from selling goods or services, they're also known as trade receivables. Suppose a customer buys $5,000 worth of goods on credit. Both sales and accounts receivable would increase $5,000. Later, when the customer pays cash for the amount owed, the company's cash is debited, which increases the cash balance, and the receivables are credited, which reduces the receivables balance. Besides accounts receivable, the company may also have notes receivable. Notes receivable represent written promises to receive a specific amount of money at a designated future date or on demand. Notes receivable may or may not arise from business or trade transactions, and they are usually issued for longer periods. Notes receivable also tend to be secured which means that the borrower, which could be a customer, provides the lender, the company, a certain amount of its assets in the event of borrower default on the note. A company may also have other types of receivables. Other receivables may include income tax refunds, interest receivable, and any other possible reason you can imagine that would trigger a right to receive cash in the future.